I don't think about it Hello everyone and welcome to our living room makeover. Here we are in the living room. In the almost three years we've lived here, we have done some things to make the space much more cozy than it was when we first moved in. But there's a lot more that I've been really wanting to do for literally those three years. We have literally no excuse to put this off any longer. Let's talk about this living room then. Right now our living room has the same color on the walls that the rest of the house had when we first moved in. It's very neutral, but I just don't think it really does much for this space. I want this space to be moodier and way cozier. So we've already added some touches of design with our decor, our art, the furniture, but there's still so much more to do. And the first step is definitely to change this wall color. I'm ready to go bold with this space because we have so many neutral elements like the curtains and the couch. So I'm ready for it. So I mentioned that we want this living room to feel really cozy, which is probably our number one priority. This room doesn't get a lot of natural light and I really wanna paint it like a dark moody color. I actually think that if I painted this a light color, it wouldn't do anything to lighten up the space. I wanna lean into the fact that it's a dark room. Kind of like Lone Fox, how he painted his movie room like a super dark color. It just makes it so cozy. If you do it right and you choose the right colors, you can find a way to make it balanced and not feel like a black hole and not feel like there's absolutely no light in here. And currently we have so much light furniture, light trim, light curtains. So I think painting the walls a dark color is gonna look really great. Before we can actually get to the design plans, I need to choose a color. So I actually got samples for two colors from Sherwin-Williams. So let's paint some of those on the wall. Two colors I got samples for are Evergreen Fog and Rosemary. I wasn't sure if these colors were gonna show up way, way darker once they're in the room. So I wanted to get like one that's slightly lighter and one that's slightly darker. I'm starting with a sample of Rosemary. This is my first choice. So that's why I wanna start with this one. I'm gonna do a couple spots like on all the walls to get an idea of what the color looks in different lightings and different parts of the room where it's lighter or darker. So this is rosemary. I'm gonna do a couple sections of rosemary on the other walls really quick. I mean, they give you this giant bucket of it and this is 10 bucks, so I might as well use as much of it as I can to get a good idea of the color. I think I'm gonna leave the trim white just to kind of add that that lightness. I'm not sure though. We can always come back and paint it later. All this art is going to stay the same, so I want to make sure it looks good with our art too. And all that I'm left with to So now we're going to try Evergreen Fog, which is the slightly lighter color, and we'll see how that looks on the wall. I am liking the way that this dark green is looking. I don't think it's going to be too dark, but we'll see what it looks like once we put this one to compare it, though. When you call me up and ask if I'm doing okay. Evergreen fog is quite a bit lighter, and then the rosemary is definitely darker more so what I was leaning towards. I think I'm still leaning towards Rosemary, but let's put a couple more of these swatches up. Here's how the colors are looking. Again, I wanted to paint it on all the walls because I feel like every single wall gets a different level of light and different like tone of light too. So we have it right now in the morning light, but I definitely want to see what it looks like in the afternoon, evening, especially nighttime. But I really like the darker color as of right now. So we'll see. I just feel like that's what I was going for. Like it'll be super, super moody. Luckily we have such a large amount of this paint sample like this is how much i got 30 ounces i hardly used any of it so honestly i could paint like this entire wall like large chunks of the wall just to be a thousand percent certain because when we're going with a really dark color maybe i can just make 
more of this wall dark and see if it's gonna be too dark or if it looks really good because right now I think it looks good. Although I really like the color Rosemary, I, as I'm like sitting with it for a while, I'm like a little worried that it's gonna be slightly too dark. I checked Sherwin-Williams. I realized that there's actually a color in between the Evergreen Fog and the Rosemary. So these are actually two shades different. And I did just happened to not grab the one in between when I got the swatches the first time. So I ended up picking that up. So here's the two original, the Evergreen Fog and the Rosemary. And then I added this one right in the middle, which is Dried Time. It's still dark, it's still moody, it's not as light as Evergreen Fog, which I feel like is too light. And I'm like just a little concerned that Rosemary is too dark. So let's get this up on the wall so we can see if it's the ideal color or if we're just gonna stick with Rosemary. I just want the peace of mind of knowing that we tried every single option. Oh, all my pets are surrounding me. Legend PJ Ash. Okay, let's get this up on the wall. Definitely need a new paintbrush. This one is has definitely seen better days probably a hand-me-down for my dad. I don't know, it seems really light to me. Like, I don't want it to be super light. I want it to be like, moody. Let's give it a chance to dry and then I'll make the final decision, but I'm pretty sure I'm still leaning towards Rosemary. Okay, so we've officially decided on which paint color we're gonna do. But first, drop your guesses in the comments. Do you think it's Rosemary, Evergreen Fog, or Dry Time? Have you put your comments? Pause the video if you need to, cause I'm gonna say it in like literally two seconds. We're going with dry time. So <laughs> if it was like a thousand percent up to me, I probably would have still gone with the darkest color, Rosemary, but my fiance was like, I don't know, it just seems too dark. And I'm like, yeah, it is a big risk. I do feel that way too. So the safer bet is to meet in the middle and do the dry time. The tone of this color is so pretty, like, it's just really pretty. I painted a huge swatch on this wall because I'm like, if this is the color we're choosing, I need to see how it looks on like a larger scale area than just a tiny little swatch. I kind of wanted to do the same with this and see a larger scale of this, but I feel like my fiance was just not going to be down for that color regardless. Most of the time he does trust my judgment 100%. Like, you pick, I'm going to be happy with it. Whatever you pick, I like your style. It's going to look good because I trust you. So when he voices his opinion and says this one's too dark, I have to take that seriously because normally he he really does just kind of ride with whatever I'm I'm here for. So I have to take his word a thousand percent. He painted this swatch. <laughs> well, I painted right here and then he's like, oh, I want to do some. So then he did that part. He's going to help me paint this time. So this is the first time painting like a really large room like this. The other rooms we've painted, like the stairwell, he did help me paint with that because I couldn't reach. The laundry room was just small enough that I could do that by myself. Powder room, same thing. But in this one, it's like, okay, this space is definitely large enough where he can help me a little bit and it'll make it go a lot faster. So <laughs> take one last look before we prep to actually paint it. So now that we've officially picked the paint color, let's talk about design plans. The inspiration for our living room is moody, vintage with a little Parisian flair to it. Although we're not gonna do it in this video, I would love to add some ceiling details like the top corner picture over here to give it that Parisian touch that I'm talking about. And now here's the mood board for our living room. As you know, we chose the color Dry Time from Sherwin-Williams that we'll use to paint all the walls and most likely the ceiling. Our art is gonna stay the same. And then this TV console is very similar to the one that we already have bringing in this really dark, rich wood tone. This basket from Target I've wanted for a long time to replace the basket that I got at a garage sale. The ceiling light from Anthropology plays into the vintage and Parisian style that we're leaning towards. And then these light switch covers are not only a showstopper, they're so beautiful, but I think they're really gonna play into the vintage vibe. And then of course, I'm keeping the same vintage lamp that I got for my grandma. And we were keeping all of our existing furniture in this space. So we stopped at Target tonight and we got the basket. So I'm so excited to see how it actually looks in the space. I think this is way better because it's actually more closed than the other one was. Oh, hello, Ash. Moment of truth. Let's move it into the spot. Here's the other one that I got at a garage sale. It was originally from Ikea. So let's move these dog toys into this basket and then I'll put it in place. Before we take all the art down for painting, can we just acknowledge literally how perfect the colors match in these two pictures? Like this blue right here is like the same as the blue in this picture. The pink is the same as the pink in this scroll. And then like even the yellowy tint of the sky is really similar to like the cream background of the scroll. I will be taking this all down to paint, obviously, 
I will be putting it all back exactly how it is. There's holes under here for the previous setups for the gallery walls. So I'm gonna like take this art off, keep the little hooks up temporarily just to fill the other holes, leave those holes up, hope that when I paint, the holes stay visible so I don't have to like remap everything out, which if I have to, it's like, okay, that's fine. But the only thing I'm gonna change, like when we put this all back up, are these flowers right here. I had these left over from like floral cloche DIY I did a few months ago in like that floral DIY video. Take a look, cause it's gonna be taken down while we paint and then while it dries, but it will be put back up all just like this. So let's take this art down. holes from the last few gallery walls here so I'm gonna fill those keeping all these hooks in to make sure that those holes stay because I really don't want to have to re hammer all these holes but we'll see really sad and empty now but we're ready to paint I do have to take down these hooks still but I'm gonna start on this wall because I felt like there's less furniture to move and less things in the way the brush that I have is like literally on its last leg so I got one that's like smaller that's easier I like these a lot but I also got a regular size one just because you never know and then I got an extra large roller. Then I got the paint tray to go with that so that we can just cover more surface area at a time. This is how big that roller head is. I have the urethane trim enamel and this is gonna be used to paint the door and the trim around the door so that that just blends in seamlessly with the rest of the room. We don't really wanna highlight that. And then I just got the interior regular stuff with the matte finish. So let's get to painting. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Be so sore after this. My neck's gonna be stuck like this. You need a bigger ladder? Bigger step ladder? That'd be nice if we had one that had three or four, yeah. At least those holes are still visible. But those are really big holes, so. 
I hope it's the same with the small holes. This place is such a mess. But all I have to do is this part, this part, and then these two parts. Okay, so it took several hours, but I'm finally done with the cutting in using the brush. So now we can move on to rolling. This is the last wall, and then we just have the ceiling and the door. I feel like I've been doing, I think it's like 5.30 or something right now, and I've been doing this since 11, maybe? So, yeah. Uh, I feel a little delirious right now. My drop cloth is really doing the job. are getting pretty antsy with it being the house being in disarray right now but this is the last little piece i need to do with the extent with the extension rod i think i'm going to come back tomorrow and do the ceiling or tomorrow whenever i have a whole week off today's only saturday so i don't know when i'm going to come back and do it but oh my gosh i'm struggling with this i told i'm telling you i'm going a little delirious right now and my phone only had five percent battery too so if that doesn't tell you anything then This thing squeaking is driving me wild. I think before I do the ceiling tomorrow or whenever I do it, I'm gonna go back one more time along the entire perimeter of the room with the brush because I feel like I just didn't do it quite enough on the ceiling yet. Anyway, I'm gonna go wash up, I guess. First, I'll show you a little sneak peek of what it looks like. Obviously, the room is in shambles, but that's kind of how it's looking. There I painted the ceiling up there. So the whole thing's gonna be dark like that. And that's gonna give it the look that I wanted. We just put everything back. Here's how it's looking. Now that it's getting a little dark out, we turn that harsh light off and now we have like our cozy lamps on. Obviously we'll have a new light. So that will also add some more, another light source that would be usable, but I love it. It's so cozy. And I think my holes for the most part, I can see where to go. There's one right there. And I think we've decided to leave the dog crates out of here because they really don't sleep in them anymore. Just look how much more space we have and how much, like it just looks better <laughs> all together. Well, good morning. It is now Sunday. I already have my paint clothes on so that way we can just get started with the, painting the ceiling as soon as possible. I do have to take the curtains down again just because we put those up. Uh, but I just have to take the rods down this time. I don't actually have to like unscrew them from the wall. I just don't want to get paint on them, obviously. And I'm going to go and grab my drop cloth out from the garage today. The only reason I didn't use it yesterday and I was just using that paper towel was because I had a person working here. They were installing our new door for us. And I just felt bad like going out there and stepping on their toes. If I'm painting the ceiling, I don't want things to actually like come down and drip. And last night I actually picked out some paint cover- paint- bleh. I actually picked out some pillow covers. I said yesterday that I was gonna go along the ceiling perimeter one more time with the brush, but then I remembered that I have another roller. It doesn't have like a, a hook on each side. It only has it on one side. So you can get really, really close on the one side with it. So I'm gonna go and just roll the perimeter and then come back over with the 18 inch roller and just start doing all the surface area. I'm gonna finish my matcha, maybe 
chill with Cleo for a second and then we can actually get started with the painting. Here's how it's looking in the daylight now. So it's definitely still cozy and moody and I think especially when I get the ceiling painted, it's really gonna have that moody, cozy vibe. Oh, and I forgot to say, we actually moved the crate back in here because we realized that our cats like to look out this window a lot. So we might get like a table that looks nicer here. Maybe I'll make something, but we just figured for now, we'll leave this one just so that the cats have somewhere to sit. I haven't even had my matcha. Look, I like stopped making it. It's always about this point when I start getting worried about running out of paint. I have probably, I don't know, a quarter of this left. I still need to do this side and this side with the small roller and then the rest of the ceiling. And then of course I step in the paint can lid. <sighs> Guess I'm taking my shoes off. I switch back over to the 18 inch roller, finish the ceiling up. I'm not gonna have enough paint. I just dumped out the rest of the paint and this is still how much I have to paint on the ceiling. <sighs> it's like, come on. I'm frustrated, but I'm gonna go to the store, get some more. Paint is secured. I got another gallon of the same paint I was using. And then I also got another drop cloth. That way I can set the supplies on this one cause it's smaller and then use the larger one to actually drape over the furniture. What is this hair doing? I'm gonna head home then. It's mostly done. I still have to touch up some spots with a brush like up there. Here's how it's looking. Let me turn this harsh light off. I ended up doing this with the brush. I'll finish this when we hang the light. The next steps are painting the outlet covers, painting the vent cover, and then painting the door and this trim around the door. But other than that, this is how it's looking. Definitely giving the cozy vibes that I wanted. After I just had the walls painted, I was like, okay, yeah, it looks like a nicely painted room but it still doesn't give like that designed look that I was going for. But now that I did the ceiling, I'm like, this room looks way more designed. And then I know once we get like the little details, like the light switch covers and the new light, it's gonna be awesome. And then of course, when this is painted, it's just gonna basically disappear. And then the curtains are really gonna stand out. I'm gonna clean up, but then I guess I'll check in with you whenever I'm ready to do all that other stuff. Everyone's surrounding me and I'm getting really distracted. Now it's time to paint the door. So instead of regular latex paint, we're using the urethane trim enamel. This is just gonna ensure that it's gonna stick on here really well. It's not gonna chip off. It's not gonna start peeling. This is in the same color dry time because like I've said a million times, I just want this door to completely disappear. It's always bothered me that this is a different color than this was a different color than this. Now they're all gonna be the same color. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the door off camera just to save you the torture of watching me paint one more thing in this room. So when you see me next, the door is gonna be green and my hair is going to be cut. The door is done. Looks great. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it just to blend in seamlessly with the rest of the room. There's no reason to highlight it. Having the door the same color as the wall, I think also helps highlight the curtains better. And I just think it's gonna make those lighter touches pop. I really like that we did that. I think it looks amazing. All that's left to do in here is switch out the light and do like the little details like the light switch covers. I'm gonna show you the pillow covers that I picked out. For the pillow covers, I really wanted to do something that would bring other colors into the room that weren't just the green that we already have on the walls. So I wanted something... Babe, stop. Turn around, you're embarrassing me. I can't even hear you. I've lost my train of thought. For the pillow covers, I wanted to bring different colors into this space besides the green that we already have on the walls. I picked out this pink velvet one that I think is gonna look really cute. Add some like a little feminine touch. Of course, I love having pink, so why not? And then also this rust color, which I thought would look really good with the green. It's gonna bring a lot of warmth and color to the couch. And then, this other one I love so much. It's almost like a vintage rug style, but it's still neutral. And then it has those pops of the colors that we already have in the room. That was part of my inspiration pictures was like having an eclectic mix of throw pillows. Cause right now our throw pillows are just like the ones that came with our couch. They're not doing anything at all for the room. They just look like extremely basic. The pillows are gonna be that perfect touch of color and style to the couch that it's just gonna make it look so much nicer than it does right now. I would love to get like a fluffy duvet cover to put on this comforter that we have on here right now because this is just kind of 
it is what it is, but we like using it because it's very cozy, keeps us warm because this room is really cold. That's something else I would like to bring in here, but we'll see if I actually end up getting to that this time. If not, I'll show it to you eventually. <laughs> but I will see you whenever it's time to do the light because that's gonna be the next step. And then we'll have all those little finishing touches to do before the final reveal. Okay, we just got the light from Anthropology, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this now. It says, do not open with sharp instruments. How am I supposed to open this? I'll just open it very carefully with the sharp instruments. So the shade, it goes this way. So when you're looking up at the ceiling, you'll see this part. And then this is the actual light portion, which connects somehow through here. A little shell detail. And there's actually two light bulbs. So it's gonna be nice and bright, yet still very diffused because it's gonna be behind the shade, which is what we want because it's gonna be in the living room. The light in there right now is like really bright and blue and we never use that light, but I think when the room is really dark, with the dark green color, definitely gonna be like a really pretty diffused light. We're obviously gonna choose some warmer light bulbs that are in that light right now. I don't like styrofoam for many reasons. Number one, it's very messy. There's like shreds everywhere. I hate the sound of it getting rubbed against cardboard. It's worse than nails on a chalkboard. Thousand percent. Okay, Cleo, what are you doing, baby girl? You're trying to mess with everything over here. To change the light, the first thing we need to do is turn off the breaker. And this is the most important step because you don't want to get shocked. Living room is crossed off. Where's living room? I'm going to call my dad on the computer so he can help me. Hello. Hello. I'm ready to help. I know this is not very safe, but I couldn't reach it. I'm just stepping on the first one here. paint around it now. We got our package with the pillowcases, so I'm excited to open these. I feel like sometimes the picture on mine can be deceiving when it comes to colors, so I'm nervous yet excited to see if these are actually how we want them to look. Oh yeah, that's exactly the color that it looks like. These are the velvet pillow covers in the color Jam. Just like this cool like pink color. It's kind of like the exact, oh my gosh. It's literally the same color as my jacket. So obviously I like this color. These are the ones that are in the rust color. Okay, a little more orange than I was expecting. I think they're still gonna look really good. This texture is different than this texture. That was what I was going for. And then the last pillow that we're waiting for isn't gonna come here till May, cause it's on back order, unfortunately. And it's the more neutral color, but it has little touches of other colors. I think it has like some pink and some green. Let's put them on the couch and see how they look in the room. Should I just take the stuffing out of here? This is it. Life's not infinite. It's the only chance we get. So why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Will it click? <sighs> it's a two-person job to zip that. There's one down. This one has like a little heart zipper. So cute. So until I get that last pillow that we're waiting on, this is the pillows that we have available for our couch. Let me kind of fluff this up a little bit. So we have one more pillow coming. I'm not really happy with the orange pillows. I don't think they look that great with the paint color. I thought these pillows were gonna be more red, but even so, I don't think I'd be happy with that color either. So I have a new idea for the pillows that I think will look way better. I also need to get some dust covers. So I have actual inserts instead of just free floating stuffing inside the pillowcases. Here's my new mood board for the pillows. Keeping with the pink color, I think looks so much better and will look better in the room. My mom is buying us a new duvet cover to cover up our current comforter and make it fit with the design and be more intentional. So I chose this one from Urban Outfitters and here's our updated mood board now that I officially decided on the pillow covers and the duvet cover This looks so cute and the pink pillows complement the green perfectly. The whole design is cohesive yet eclectic, which I love
Our new pink pillow covers arrived. I'm nervous that they're not gonna look as good as they did in the pictures. Cause that's kind of what happened with orange ones. Although, I, like I said, I'm not sure if that would have made a difference anyway. But I'm excited because I think that having a more cohesive color palette is gonna look really good. So these are like super fluffy. Oh my gosh, these are fun. That's why I thought that these would be different. I thought they would add a little texture without actually having like a pattern or anything on them. These look exactly like the photo. They literally shipped this in this bag. Like I opened my door and this was on my porch. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that works, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I think that these are like slightly darker than they were in the photo. But like, I still think they're gonna look good with the pillows. I'm more, I'm just always nervous about how they're gonna look with the green. Let's actually put these on the pillows so we can see how they look. I literally don't know how to really decorate pillows, like how to organize them, but the color scheme I like a lot better. I still wish that the bur like these burgundy ones were a little more faded like they looked in the picture, but I still think it looks really good. I think it looks good with the color. I'm struggling with actually making them look nice. Like how do I set these up? I think I need one right here because that's usually where I sit, but which one do I want to be my comfy pillow? Probably that one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure, help me. Help me arrange these pillows. Like this looks bad, but the co but the scheme looks good. Like maybe this should go. Like that looks cute. That looks cute. And then this would go over here. Cute enough. And the next thing is gonna be the duvet cover to cover up this comforter and make it look much cuter. We got the duvet cover, so let's open it up. I hope it's as cute. Okay, yeah, it's really cute. Okay. It looks really good. Like I said, you never really know when you're buying online. And there were no reviews on this product either. And it came with like pillowcases. I'm like, well, we could maybe like put some extra pillows in here. <laughs> Have like 17 pillows on the couch. That's so cute. Let me show you a close up of the pattern. So it has like these cute little frogs, the little more updated version, like a more fun version of the traditional toil. Is it called toil or twil? Twal. However you say it, I promise I'll wash this at some point, but for now, I just want to see what it looks like in the room. So let's get the duvet cover on here. Oh, I can already tell that taking away this blue college dorm style comforter is just going to update the space so much. It looks so cute. It's cozy and it's comfortable and now it's cute. So just kind of drape it here. I can find it like a nicer way to make it look less like bed like maybe, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it exactly like this because that's how we usually have it. It's cute, I love it. it. Still looks so cozy. A little disheveled still, but I think it looks great with the colors. Because it's such a light material and then the comforter inside is quite dark, there are some spots where you can see it poking through. I don't think that's really gonna bother me, but if it does, we can just upgrade to a plain white comforter to put inside this duvet cover. But honestly, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't know, let me know what you think of this. I think it looks so cute with the pink pillows and I think it also looks great with the green on the walls. What do you think, Ash? Do you like it? You like it, little baby boy? You are so cute, I love you. I just got a very exciting package and I'm so excited. I just opened it, but I haven't actually revealed it to myself yet. It's the light switch covers. They're going to be the cherry on top of this living room. They're exactly what I was picturing. It's gonna be so good. Get this nasty styrofoam out of the way. <gasps> Look how pretty. Sorry, PJ, I'm gonna drop these accidentally. Oh my goodness, okay. I cannot wait to install these. I really think that this tiny detail is gonna make such a difference. So let's install these. Going through the motions, I'm dreaming of the ocean as I swim above a riverbed. Life is so that looks so cool. Towel off my guilt as I shuffle through the silt, draw a line in the sand. I think it looks so good with the color, first of all. And just adds more to this gallery wall than the plain white light switch that was here before. It's amazing. Like I said, the cherry on top to this room. So there's definitely still things we need to do in this living room, like add the ceiling molding detail, 
get a side table and a table for by the window where the cats can look out. But for now, we're gonna call this room complete. Before I show you the final reveal of how this space looks right now, let me remind you of how it looked before. happy with how this living room has turned out so far. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. So let me know what is your favorite part of this living room and what are you most excited to see in the next part of this video whenever that comes out. As always, each room makeover I do just makes me so excited for the next room makeover that we're gonna do in the house. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my future makeovers or other videos. And thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I don't think about it. About you.